What's up, family? Today I'm going to be doing a special video for y'all. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Thank you for the love and liking and subscribing. If you're new to my channel, you picked a good one to watch. Because today we are reviewing the Fat Boy Collection. I'm going to give you guys a look at my whole collection. A little bit of snippets. Give you a little bit about it. You know how we do it, baby. No edits. No do-overs. Just one take. Keeping it real. Just for y'all. Fat Boy Fragrance videos start now. Start my collection like this. First up, Elysium. Roger. And then next one is Scandal from Roja Dove. And we got Scandal. We got Creation E Enigma. We have Nishane Ani. We have Ambra Carambia. I can't pronounce that from Nishane. B612, my barbershop go to from Nishane. Fan your flames. A hundred silent ways. Nissan Habitat, the go-to baby, seen all year round favorite, Wulang Cha, which is basically a lot like uh, Creed Still Mount Water. Then we come up here to my Nishio Parfums. You got Psychedelic Love, Ooh for Greatness, Nishio Rehab. Oh, then you get into my Terea Terenzi Love here. We have Sa uh, Spirito Florentino, which is like uh, Baccarat Roots 540, Cumbia, which cost me about $400. Look at that bottle, man. Ah, it's gorgeous. Then we got Orion, we got Kirk back there, and we got Purpur, as I call it, which I think means octopus, I'm not sure. Then we check out my uh, uh, Zerjoff collection. We have Zerjoff Urbapura, Zerjoff Udin, Shooting Stars version with, with this bad boy has got the uh, meteorite that comes with it. Then there's my first one I ever bought from uh, Zerjoff, and that's 40 Knots. Then we have, of course, Naxos, one of my newest ones. And then we come on up here. We check out this row, baby. Let's get a, this pan away and get a good shot of all these. All right. So we'll start over here. We have all the Aqua de Palmas you can think of. The newest release, Colonia Futura. Arancia de Compre, which was my first Aqua de Palma. Then we have, of course, uh, Fico de Amafi. And then the Bergamanto de Calabria. And then we have some Joe Malone's, man. Showing some love to some Joe Malone's. Blackberry and Bay. We have Orange uh, Blossom and the one all the way in the back back here that is and that black one that is uh, Joe Malone's Oris and Sandalwood we got some uh, Montal right here Tropical Wood we've got Oud Lime and then Atelier we've got a Bergamont Sole which is one of my favorite Bergamonts out there California Clementine from also from Atelier and then back here we've got of course the big hit of the last year, the year before Pacific Rock Moss. And behind that, we have Parfums de Nikolai Parfumer. Fig Tea, which is one of my favorite fig French scents out there, without a doubt. All right. Now, guys, if you have any of these you want me to do a review on, please be sure to uh, let me know in the comments. One of my favorite sleeper houses is Arquiesque. And we have La Trogue Aqua. We have Arquiesque Sydney Rock Pool. We have the Architects Club, which has been a banger for me in the sales. And then I got my little house I found, Prod. Cherry Syrup, Dancing with a Stranger. Uh, saffron and Vanilla. And Under the Rain, which is one of my favorite scents, man. If you like the smell of lime and Sprite, that's what that is. Oh, and I forgot one back here. This is a Tabali Wind, Iron Wind by Tabali. This is a new scent, kind of a woodsy scent. Reminds me a little bit of Molecule 01. Then we have, of course, uh, I call these the YouTube Influencer uh, stack. We have the Navitus Parfums right here. And then we have Mr. Smelly's Gravitas for home, one of my favorite barbershops. And in the back, we have the Jeremy Fragrance line for men. Yeah, I know. Y'all can hate later. Then we get up here. We got some discontinued ones from a house that was amazing. Commodity, Commodity Book, and Commodity Bergamot. And then we got my, right there from the middle, we got Little Italy. We got Coney Island and Greenwich Village, or Bleecker Street, excuse me, from Bond number nine. There's the King of the Kings on top of the throne, the creeds I have. Silver Mountain Water, Virgin Island Water, and of course, Creed's Green Irish Tweed, which was my second, uh, my first ever purchase of a niche fragrance. There's Molecule One, still hands up on that one, don't really know. Then we have, of course, my only parfum with the Molly, because I've sold them all. 
And then the Steely. History of Parfums. Not a blue bottle. 1.4, I think. Carnet Barcelona's Big Man. Now that's all my nieces right there. Here's some more nieces. These are from independent niche houses. And this is Kieran NYC, which is one of my favorite, favorite houses. Now you see I'm a flirt. Santal Sky. You'll be seeing a review coming. you seen a review on Rose Inc. I've done. And I'm doing a review on this bad boy very soon. And this is Nitro Noir. And then Imaginary Authors, man. What a great set of sense for them, too. There's four from Imaginary Authors. Love the books they come into. All right. So we have a couple more nieces we can go through right here. We have some Manceras. We have Cedric Bois, Bose. We have Sicily. We have Instant Crush. We have Sailing Day from Replica. Flying from Replica. And my favorite, At the Barbers from Replica. And then there's, just because we're about to start the designers, here are my designer, John Par Gutierrez, Le Mans. Got a little bit of everything right there. All right, we'll start from the top. These are the ones I don't wear as much, but I still have respect for them and love them because they're nostalgic. Demeter, coconut, Demeter, I think that's fresh soap. Then we have, of course, 4710, the Neroli scent. Then we've got my first fragrance I ever bought, second one I ever bought, that's where I got started in this fragrance journey, right there. Uh, Christine Agua, Agua. Then we have Thallium Black and Thallium. Then Tommy Hilfiger, baby, showing some love. CK1 Summer and CK1. This one right here was a big one for me, and that is, can't think of the name, it's Silver Something, it's a Silver Mountain Water uh, clone that I paid like 10 bucks for back in the day. There's the Marmoth. Then we have, of course, this one was, if you were starting that journey back in the day, you all had Narca Voyage. You all had this one, St. Bart's. And you always had Chrome right there, too. Gonzaro's Chrome. That was your collection you had to have when you were doing this. All right, then we have a new one I picked up this year, Gonzaro Chrome Sport. Ah, oh, man, one of my favorite tobacco scents right there, Tom Ford's Dark Rebel. Then there's some love for some uh, kindred goods right there. That is uh, six... Uh, uh, Sea salt and fig. And then as we come down, we got Ariana Grande. Whoa, discontinued Iceman. Hippie in the bottle, baby. Le Parfait. Thank you, Cuba, for making me buy that one. Artisan from John Barbados. And then here are my um, Dior Homes. And there's Dior Home, Dior Home Cologne, Dior Home Owl, and Dior Home Sport. And then my Bentleys, if you can see what the light's kind of shining into that. We have three Bentleys right there. These are the Bentley uh, from that series. And these are the newest ones they made out with. You have Cashmere, you have Vetiver, and you have Musk. And then you have, of course, this one right here was a surprise. You can't find this in nobody's collection. If you like suntan lotion, that's what that is. A good suntan lotion vibe. That's from Hang Ten. Then there is my Amber Crabby and Fizz. And there's one of my favorite summer bangers. Uh, Jill Sanders Sun Fizz. Oh, man, amazing. There's some Burberry Love right there. Y'all can let him look at that. And there's a Fierce Bow in there. Yep, that's an old formulation too, man. Proud of that one. A little bit of Blue Oyster Coat, baby. Right here we have Dolce & Gabbana's, the one and three different versions. Then we have, of course, the Adventist Clan right here, baby, representing. We have the Adventist Clan representing right there. We have Onyx, the discontinued 2016. I have another bottle put up. Yeah, I got it back up. The original from, I got that one back in 2015. And then, oh, my little tape came off there. One tape, baby, no edits. There's some Prada Love right there. Four different Prada Loams. Absolute, well, Splash, Intense, and Regular Prada. There's some Valentino Umo Love. And this one right here was the first fragrance I ever owned. David Dolph Cool Water. Here's some Azaro Ginger Lover, some Armani Code, Armani Mint. Some more love for Paco Rabanne, as you can see. Then we have Stronger With You by Armani. Here's some Armani love. Ah, oh, the go-to back in the day. And then you have Absolute. There's some, and then we have, of course, some uh, Versace Arrows, the new one, the EDP, and also one of my favorite springtime scents, Dunhill Icon Racer. Over here we have Much Love to Chat with Bozeman, Black Panther. And then we have uh, Javinci Gentleman, one of my favorite ones in the winter. And then this one right here started off for me, man. Michael Kors Blue Extreme. This one was amazing when I got it. Super compliment getter. Still awesome. Got to show love to the Ferrari collection. La Here's one of my favorite tobacco scents. Ombre Noir by Lalique. There's some Prada Love and another discontinued gem. Prada, uh, uh, Prada 
Luna Rosa Extreme. There's my love to blue to Chanel, Chanel the perfume, and Allure Home Extreme. Some love to Mont Blanc. And then the newest ones to the family, John Barbados' double axes of Artisan and John Barbados for him. All right, come down here. We have some Tom Ford. We have some, ooh, Salvador Valley. Man, that's that's some straight up hippie patchouli love right there. The idea alone, Cologne, uh, right there from Guerlain. That's an amazing uh, scent for the for the spring. Some Tom Ford love, of course. This is my favorite though. So Leblanc. Oh man, some high dollar Dolce Gabbana's and velvet wood and velvet vetiver. Some uh, Kenneth Cole getting some love. Then we got some out here. We got what well, we got. We got Boucheron Quatcher. I'm doing a review on that one soon. Fantastic sleeper hit right there. And this one right here was the first scent that I really realized how much I love fragrances and how good it smelled. Uh, Versace's out fresh for men. And then we got, of course, Periella's Blue and Red. We got some Kenzo Parr, some Mugler Cologne, and Moschino Toy Boy. Yeah, baby. And then some newest ones this year I picked up. We've got uh, Roche's Loam, Mustache, and Cartier Pasta de Cartier Eau de Parfum. And here's some big boys here. Another discontinued gem, baby. Colonia Senza. Ah, big bottle of that bad boy, too. Then come over here. We got all the uh, spice bombs that I have. I'm only missing one. It's Flower Bomb. Don't really care about having that one, though. Here's some Love the Coach and Tazaro Wanted Tonic. Ah, oh, fantastic summer scent right there. And then we got Post of the Night. And then we also have Is uh, Isimayaki's Regular for Home and Isimayaki Blue. And then there's some Tier de Hermes Tray Fresh. The original, perf this one's about a seven-year-old bottle right here. One million perfume. And then the new one, I'm sorry, one million perf uh, regular, one million perfume. We, these right here are sleeper hits, man. Kendrick's goods make great ones. This one's also discontinued, Mercedes-Benz Cologne. You cannot get that anymore. It smells just like or better than your home cologne. Here's some English laundry, love. We got a show. And then there is some little bottles I got right there. Some little ones I've had. There is Tierra de Hermes. Le Marvelous de Ombre, Boss Bottle, uh, um, uh, can't think of the name, I'm going to look it up real quick, it's Boss Bottle uh, Unlimited, this one right here is one of my favorite springtime scents, a little bit of love for clean, original for men, nice, nice, solid man scent, Dolce Gabbana Blue, Light Blue Sun, alright, that is almost the whole collection, a couple more to go, we have up here some more Dior, uh, Yves Saint Laurent time, baby. We got Yves Saint Laurent Y Al Fresh. Another discontinued gem and gingerbread by uh, Lom, uh Yves Saint Laurent. And we got Yves Y Eau de Parfum. And then Vanal by Yves Saint Laurent, which is one of my favorite vanilla scents. Here are all my Loams. We have Ele Electrique. We have uh, Blue. We have Ultime. We have the regular one, just a 2012 formulation, a 2012 formulation on on the Loam, La Nuit de Loam, and then the newest one, La Nuit de Loam Parfum. And then we got some Bagari love over here, baby. Aqua, Aqua Amara, Aqua Atlantique, uh, Wood Neroli, Glacial Essence, a new one I've done, I've done a review on if you want to check it out. And this one right here I'm doing a review on, this is the discontinued, hard to find Salvador Ferengamos Wood for home. Oh man, that's a great wood you sent. That's some love to the clones, baby. This is another one right here. This is our Mops Limited Edition. I've done reviews on that one. This is a great little Supremacy uh, Adventist clone. And then some love to two last year's batch, this year's batch. Love these two right here. Fantastic sense of that is Creed's Milestone, their version of, of Creed's Millicent Parallel. And there's a couple more nieces I forgot. We'll finish them up now. Right now we have all my massive uh, MFK, I like to call it, Francis Kerjohn's. So we have all these bad boys. Make sure you get a good look at them. My favorite one is this bad boy right here. Oh man, I love that one. This one right here is one of my favorite scents in the whole world. And it smells amazing. It's Aqua Universidades. Oh, what a scent. All right, I'm going to pause. All right, we're back again. This is Moogler's Ombre from the Exception Line. Oh, my favorite amber scent right now. And then we got some love for NASA model. We have Paranda, we have Pardon, and we have Narcotic V. That's more for the ladies, but I like it too. 
And then some love to some um, Etat Libre de Orange. You got a bunch of those right there you can check out. And then the last couple we have right here, here they are. Her man, a coach right here in the middle, is my favorite, favorite one from the whole house. I love this one. This is a juice. Oh, I'm almost out. I got to buy more. One of the best scents they make. Moving on, we're almost done. We're going to start the top up here with my clone house. This is my clone altar now we're about to go through. So we're going to check out the clone altar and get it all knocked out and start off on the top. There's my sensual obsession line, bunches of stuff, man. There's all kinds of stuff up there. Then we have more sensual obsessions. And then we have my Alexandria's. And also we have a bunch of the solid ones. I like the solid fragrances right here. These are great to wear, man. I love the solid fragrances. This one is actually um, in Interplay, which is their version of Baccarat Rouge's 540. All right, here's some more Alexandra's. As we go down, we're on the home stretch, baby. Some of those on there is Purple Haze, Smooth Sailing, Hawaii Bonacle Intense, Moonlight Paradise. Emerald Street is a clone of Bleecker Street. Italian Caramel, ah, oh, fantastic scent. There's a clone of uh, Zerzhov is Italica. Italica, ah, oh, great scent. And I've got these kind of color-coded on some of these. There's Motor Elixir. I just got the review on that one. Be checking that one out. Then we have my Supernova collection. Uh, then we have, of course, the blue bottles I put up. These are my Duas. You ready? There's all the Duas. Y'all can check them out. Blue to Dua, ah, oh, great scent. Savage and Casino Around. Basically, it's Dior Sauvage and Back Reviews 540. Those guys that do are crazy. Here are my big boy Duas. We have Casino Elixir, we have Supernova, and we have Casino Royale Knights. Ah, oh, great. Down here we have a bunch more. As you can see, the blue light. Let me turn that light to a different color. There we go. We've got some great, great duos right here. Oh, I love them. I'll point out one Midnight Rendezvous with Poseidon. That's fantastic. That is a basically La Nuit de Lone with uh, a Venice. Fantastic. All right, we'll move over here. Here's some more. That's my Creed clones. These are my MFK clones of Dua. These are basically a little mix of everything right there. Um, there's some more Zerzhov clones. And there's some bad boys right there. That Black Widow, hard to come by. All right, here's some ones spinning right here. These are metal ones. There's some more back here. I'm just going to give you a big shout out, all of them. So we can finish this up. I'm not going to go into detail of all them. You can pretty much tell what they are. Everybody wanted to see my collection kind of in full. These are my newest ones I'm about to do a video for. These are the 16 I just purchased. And these are my backups right there. These are all backups. And these are my backups over here. All right, man. That is all the time I've got. I hope you enjoyed this. You got to see my whole collection. If you want to see a review on any of them, just let me know, baby. And like I always tell you, if you feel good, you smell good, baby, it's all good.